As we begin our story, we find you, young David Seeger, freelance editor and silly video maker, awakening from a long whiskey-induced slumber. You snort loudly, actually startling yourself awake. Wow. Remembering where you are and what day it is, you realize you slept through your important cute pet podcast conference call to New York. Better do something about it, buckaroo. You have a new email from New York. Why weren't you on the call? We needed to decide between pugs and border collies. You're fired. Your mother makes you feel a little better. You're thirsty. You're going to pass out if you aren't careful. There's a flyer on the fridge door. Attention tenants, we will be holding a time traveler conference in the parking garage on Monday. Do not be alarmed. Free punch. Time travel, that's it. You can time travel back to this morning so you don't miss the conference call. The scientists are standing in your way. Excuse me, I'd like to use your time machine, please. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Have you ever time traveled before? No. Rule number two, time traveling scientists only. Oh. Doi. Doi. That won't work. You look like a damn retard. Think harder. You look around the room. Swamp Thing comic books, lost DVDs, Channy Awards, note cards, video camera taping this. Oh, that's it, lost DVDs. What? Time is it? Faraday? The Daniel Faraday? Mm, yes. If you two will allow it, I need to use your time machine. I I need to get back to 10 a.m. this morning. It's it's very important. Oh, by all means, please. Oh my please. gosh, yeah. Everybody get the fuck off the time machine. Daniel Faraday needs to use it. Thank you very much. You've you've helped me correct a major wrong. You're connected. They need you to choose between pugs and border collies. Pugs, motherfuckers. Tiny baby pugs. Congratulations. Way to go. You win the game.